Okay, everybody, uh, I'm going to show you what we call isometric ramping. Okay, so I've showed a couple of you patients how to do an isometric ramp, but some of you I haven't shown yet, and this is just a good reference as to how to do it. So, isometric ramping starts with a five se second on ramp. Okay, we're going to breathe through our stomach, our belly button stomach, right here. We're going to breathe through our diaphragm, not through our chest, okay? So breathing through our belly button feels like and looks like this. Okay, so the first part of it is we're going to on-ramp for five seconds. As we're on-ramping, we're filling our belly with air with our diaphragm. As we're doing this, we're placing the ball into the area that we're working on and we're trying to push the muscle in which the ball is on okay so a good example is we're going to use our adductor okay i'm going to put this ball right on the adductor okay for the first two seconds you're going to just do is you're going to focus on where the ball is on your body really focus on that okay then what i want you to do is as we breathe in that five second breathe in we're going to be pushing that muscle that's right on top or under this ball into the ball, okay? And you're gonna do that five second on ramp until you get to that five seconds and you're gonna be at max contraction into the ball. We're gonna hold that for about three to five seconds at max contraction. And then we're gonna go from a 10 count, we're going to decrease our contraction into the ball and also let out our breath at the same time. The reason we're doing this is because there is a difference between mechanical stiffness and neurological stiffness. Mechanical stiffness is that um, area where your tissue is uh, disorganized and we're trying to reorganize it so that it can lengthen. The neurological tension is when your muscle just doesn't understand how to stop being tight. And this is what we're doing. We're both working on mechanical and neurological tension. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath. We're going to do it right now. We're going to take a deep breath for five seconds. And we're going to on-ramp or swell that muscle into the ball, okay? So we're going one, two, three, four, five. I'm at max contraction into my ball. I'm going to hold it for about three to five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And then on this last 10 seconds, I'm letting my breath out and I'm also decreasing the tension from the ball. Five, four, three, two, one. At that end, at that zero point, your body should be completely relaxed. It should be ragdolled, okay? So as, let's just repeat that, the steps. We're going to take a deep breath through our diaphragm on a five-second count. While we're doing that, we're on-ramping our contraction into the ball for five seconds. We're going to hold that max voluntary contraction for three to five seconds. And then on a 10-second count, you're going to breathe out and also de-escalate your muscle contraction off the ball for 10 seconds. If you have any questions, please comment at the bottom of this video uh, and let me know. Happy on-ramping!